What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a test between the two shot meters between NBA 2K and NBA Live. Now you see Tim Duncan's mid-range shot open was a 95. Um, now obviously I'm going to turn the shot meter on here. But basically the point of this test is to show both shot meters comparably and reinforce my point that the shot meter in NBA 2K is completely broken and the shot meter in NBA Live is a lot more skill based um, it actually works it has better mechanics um, basically the the shot meter for NBA 2K 18 and 2K 17 really the shot meter in 2K always for me since it was first implemented was just for feedback I don't use the shot meter in 2K as something you look at as you're shooting. Um, I've been playing 2K since the first one on Dreamcast. There was no shot meter up until next gen. So really, I think most people don't even really need the shot meter. Um, I mean, I'm not saying there's people that don't look at the shot meter, but in my opinion, you don't need it to shoot. It's, it's a timing based thing. It's not based on looking at that little tiny bar that used to be under their feet and or the one that's right next to their hands now. Nobody, It's impossible to time it like that. And as you can see, all these mid-range jumpers I'm shooting, they're all white bars, full white bars. There's nothing skill-based in this. Um, I know how to shoot with Tim Duncan. I mean, it's not that hard. It, it's not a, a rocket science timing type of thing. I know how to shoot with them. I know how to shoot with pretty much any player in the game. Most people really should or do if you call yourself a hardcore 2K player. But look at that. And all these animations when they're making you catch the ball and you go into a weird animation. He's stepping all around the court. Look at his feet. He's walking literally all around the court. Every single jumper, jumper he catches, he keeps moving around and sliding. Why do they do that? They, they lock you into these weird momentum animations. It's not okay. Okay, again, my main point is this is not skill-based, and the shot meter is based on nothing but feedback. You don't need it. Now, let's take a look at the NBA Live 18 shot meter comparably. Now, remember, Tim Duncan had a 95 mid-range, open mid-range in 2K18. You see there, Kevin Durant has a 96. This is why I say NBA... Live 18 was a better overall game gameplay wise than 2K18. The shot meter is 100% skill based, 100% works, um, and it's a balanced mechanic. It's consistent every single time. It works the same way pretty much every single time. If I miss, you can actually use it to shoot, unlike 2K. You don't have to use it, but like I said, in my opinion, if you did want to use this, you can actually look at it and use it as a shooting system, <clears throat> not just a feedback system like in 2K. And as you can see, I'm getting nothing but green releases because it's pure skill based and I'm wide open. It's 100% better than what 2K is doing. This is a small example of why I have a ton of faith in the EA NBA Live team. The game is balanced. It's 100% skill based, the shooting. I'm shooting wide open jumpers. I'm releasing it at the exact right moment to get that green release. In 2K, it's nothing like this. This is why I like this game. A small example. You know, it's, it's a balanced experience. 100% skill based. All greens. Timing based. Skill based. There's no weird animations or anything extra that doesn't need to be there. This is about skill. 100% skill based. This is the type of gameplay that I prefer, that I want. You know, nothing is really out of my control. In fact, I have full control. If I'm wide open or if you leave a hand down, there's a chance for me to get that green. And if I hit that perfect release, it's going to be a green. You know? Peace out, guys. NBA Live 19. Can't wait to play it.